guys welcome back to electrical car repair life thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a hyundai tucson guys you have any uh, check engine light on in any of the codes such as code p0078 code p0079 or code p0080 stay with us we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it in some cases you may not need to spend even almost any money at all to fix that problem and we'll explain what can affect it so uh, that should work on multiple generations and engines, even gasoline diesel engines that have been used in Hyundai Tucson, but we'll be demonstrating on a 2.4 GDI engine. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to take them completely apart and make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from so looking at it that's the engine guys okay right here that's 2.4 four cylinder gasoline gdi engine but even if you have a diesel engine as i said especially if you have the variable timing okay it's very likely that uh, you have the same component so looking at it guys here that's a computer that we use for diagnostics and many of you ask us in the comment section below to share that information it works on hyundai and almost any car you can think of it's a tool that can pay itself off in one time use and i'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to check the current price and features so now when you open the hood on your Hyundai Tucson what you need to do you need to locate where the intake hose goes to the throttle body and the intake manifold that's your intake manifold that's the car where the car gets its air and fuel from you come on the back side you will have the exhaust manifold usually there okay 90% of the time they're on the opposite side and checking right here now okay next to the exhaust manifold you have that sensor okay usually it will be close to the exhaust camshaft it's known as an exhaust variable timing solenoid or vvt solenoid the purpose of that solenoid is to divert the engine oil guys to different passages in the camshaft sprocket and that way it can actually uh, advance or retard okay uh, advance or retard the timing and you have variable timing if you have any of these codes from 78 to 80 guys you need to check the wiring harness make sure it's not broken anywhere number two inspect okay the connector make sure that it's good okay the wires are all the way in somebody didn't yank them out they're not bent and they're clean and not contaminated let's say with engine oil or water if somebody washed the engine number three it's very likely that you have a dirty vvt solenoid we have a special video that explains how to replace vvt solenoid and how to actually guys test and clean vvt solenoid on our main youtube channel how to repair guys nine per 90 percent of the time nine out of ten times you can clean those okay test them and they should be performing correctly sometimes they do burn but what can affect to get these codes it could be guys let's say you don't have enough engine oil you have a defective okay or not working oil filter number three it could be guys dirty engine oil number four it could be engine oil that's not for that, that car this one uses 5w20 if you're using ticker oil that can affect it another thing that can affect it as well guys okay here's the quality of the engine oil if it's warm if it's dirty okay that can make that solenoid sticking and that can affect it as well and you will need to clean the solenoid now if you let's say clean it it's still you still get these codes you replace the solenoid you test the wiring everything is good you still get these codes bad news guys most likely it's a bad camshaft sprocket okay on the exhaust camshaft or stretch timing chain or broken timing chain components that uh, give some slack to the chain so we'll have videos how to fix each one of those timing chains all that stuff will be on our channel on uh, Hyundai Tucson hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time